Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today I am going to do a quick unboxing and jump right into a project. Um, this is a glitter order from itsprettypersonal.com. It's a fairly small order. You can tell by the package. Um, they had one thing I really, really needed to get. Wanted. And, um, my airhead and one thing I wanted one thing I needed and then you know filler for the rest so I got honey gold diamond dust I wanted to get some of the colored diamond dust to try them out because I only have the plays on white I got solid gold diamond dust I got this prowl purple diamond dust and I thought I'd ordered a blue one as well but apparently I did not so which is fine I'm gonna work with this one today I got um, this gold patina glitter because I wanted to try this out um, this is what I really ordered for. I wanted the Rainbow Bright Cheat. I really wanted to see how this looks as my top additive. And I really needed a yellow yellow. Um, so I got this one. It's from Tarte. It's the number two pencil yellow. And last I got Posh Olympic Gold XL because I needed a new chunky gold because I am low on those. So I think what I'm going to do is I was originally going to do just a solid colored cup, but I think I'm going to use two colors and I think I'm going to use the solid gold and the prowl purple. So I'm going to open these up carefully because this stuff goes everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and get gloves on. I have already prepped a black base cup with two layers of Aline's Tacket over and over. Um, I do mix mine. I keep a container ready. I mixed up a fresh container because my old container was super sticky and um, just gross, actually. I have it right here. I can show you. It got to the bottom and just got really gross. So I made a fresh one. That one I've had kicking around for like six months or a year. But this is the cup. It's still got a tiny little bit of white there. But I'm going to grab my brush and I will be right back. I do two layers of the tacket over and over. Um, let them dry 10 to 15 minutes in between. Uh, when it's no longer white on the cup is when you know you're good to go. I'm going to use a very soft bristle brush to apply this. And I don't know that these colors will show over the black. So we're going to find out. I'm just going to apply it. I was going to do like top bottom, but I think I'm going to do it just random. And then just kind of blend them together. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put the gold on. I think I do, but just a little bit. So I'm going to go mostly for purple. You can see how this goes everywhere. I've been saying I was going to do a tacket cup with the diamond dust for ages, and it's time. So 
So I'm going to mostly fill it with the purple. The whole sweatshirt I'm wearing is already covered in sparkle. Don't work on these anywhere near a cup that you need to stay a specific color. If you have loose resin anywhere, these are going to settle into it. So, alright. That is mostly purple. I'm going to grab another brush to do the gold. Hopefully this brush doesn't have a ton of another color in it. Gold is going to be super saturated. This brush is really picking up more of the powder to begin with. So. I'm just going to brush a little bit more of the purple on. And I'm going to seal these up so they don't start mixing. There should be plenty of product on there now. Pull my sleeve up. Alright, and I am just going to start burnishing it down and see what we end up with. I have a feeling that the color is really going to pop once it's under the resin, I'm hoping, anyways, but, I mean, it's pretty, and it's not really colored one didn't hold as much over the black as I expected. Or had hoped, I guess. So, full hand burnish. Just get it to lay down on that and tack it. So, that's what we have. Look at that on the glove, that mixture. All right, so I'm going to move this over to the turner table and get some resin mixed up, and we'll be back to see how it looks under the resin. Okay, I'm ready to get some resin on this. I was watching it spin as I did my mixing, and I'm getting a super galaxy vibe off of this. So, not in this video, but we're going to take this and turn this into a galaxy tumbler. Um, but I'm going to do the rest of it in its own separate video, because this was just a product testing, new product, you know. Um, I have a white base tumbler here. Fun fact about this one, some of my foam inserts have holes partially through them. Some of them go all the way through. I went to put this one on one of the ones that has a hole all the way through, pushed down hard on it, and actually pushed hard enough to dent the bottom of the cup. So I don't even know if this cup seals. So whatever I do with this one, if it does seal, it's going to end up being my own personal cup because of the dent. If it doesn't seal, it'll probably end up being a strip cup just to play with techniques on. Just, yeah. <laughs> that was a bad move. But I'm going to use the same colors on this one. But I'm going to coat this one first. So, 
Let's see how it looks under the resin. Yeah, definitely Galaxy Cup. Holy cow. So I'm just going to give this a super thin coat. They are beautiful. I mean, no doubt, but you really don't see a lot of the purple. Um, so, and I was kind of, when I started like 50-50 on whether that would work or not, turns out it doesn't, the gold does show, but, so, I like I said, I have some fun things in mind to make this a galaxy tumbler. Um, so look for that coming sometime in the next week. When it's done, I will put the link down below of this video. Obviously, I can't link it until it is done. And this video will probably be up hopefully just a day or two in advance, but it could be several days. Well, it might be a couple days in advance. It is super cold here in New York and working with anything has been difficult to say the least. We heat the house with a pellet stove and um, we do clean outs on it every couple of days without shutting it down fully because obviously the house would get very, very cold in the time it would take to fully shut down because you have to let it sit for several hours to cool off when you fully shut it down. So we like burn the burn pot down and open the door and it's a bit of a dusty process. So I keep that heat out of this room. Um, so all I work with is a space heater and we've had, you know, negative temp real feels a couple times now. Um, I don't think it got nearly as warm today as they said it was going to. And it really looks like for the next week, that's the boat we're in. So, um, spray painting's difficult. Everything's difficult right now. So, if I'm moving a little slow on projects, that's why. But, the purple almost turned silver, and the gold, you can see, is gold. So, gonna be perfect for a Galaxy Cup. I'm gonna peel this outer glove off. I have a second cup that I'm going to pour, um, not half, but just a tiny bit in. I'm going to keep the bulk of it for the purple. So I'm going to slide. I can't really slide it out of the way. But that one's going to get gold. This one's going to get purple. I'm going to grab a... I'm going to grab a stir stick if I can find one. I'm just going to break it in half because I don't need giants. And I'm going to put just a little bit of the gold. You don't need a lot when it comes to the diamond dust. I mean, a tiny bit will do. And I have nothing else turning right now, so I'm good there. If a couple get on here, I don't care because it's the colors that are already on there. So I'm going to get that mixed in well. Look how gorgeous that is in the resin. These little jars are a little bit expensive. They're like $10, but they last forever. I have yet to finish one of these since I started buying them. So I'm going to do the purple in this cup. Should be plenty. Yep, 
And what I'm going to do is, a fun fact, purple and gold were my school colors. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and full coverage spread the purple, I think. It really is pretty. And I'm not sure I'm going to have enough to get a really good full coverage here. But I'm going to see if I can stretch it. Touch the bottom yet. Just trying to get every last bit of it out of this cup that I possibly can. I came into this with no plan. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants because this cup is trash anyways, or my own, so it really doesn't matter what I do to it. The shimmer in this is gorgeous. could have used a little bit more resin, but I'm just going to keep spreading it until it's covered a little bit better than this. I'm trying to just use one finger. I know some of you get mad when I use my whole hand and I don't have enough resin to do my whole hand, but this is that finger that I broke last year and the cold weather really makes it stiff and painful. So sometimes it's difficult for me to work with just that finger and that's why you'll see me use my full hand, um, but it really bugs some people that I do that but I can't help it. It's just how my hand works. So I'm not going to get the best complete coverage with this one. But again, I don't care. I just wanted to see how these colors looked on the white, mostly, so. And I don't even mind the patchy white coming through. And then I'm just gonna take the gold and drizzle. I feel like I'm going to have more gold than I really wanted on this, but I don't think it matters. It is gorgeous, though. It's more of a vibrant gold than that other gold. I wanted this gold um, to use as a, an undercoat on, like, the bee tumblers and stuff rather than always a chunky glitter, but that's also why I got the gold chunky, so. All right, 
I'm going to pop these gloves off so I don't get it all over my torch. And I'm just going to go ahead and torch this quick and let that gold spread a little bit, hopefully, and get it swirling. So I'm going to give it quite a bit of heat. And uh, this is liquidy split, so that could be a problem. <laughs> I don't really want it to ooh, burn a little bit. Um, I don't really want it to flash cure, but I want it to move. So. Same two colors, white base, black base. Um, I'm gonna take this off the turner real quick. I can't tilt the whole turner because I've got two cups, so. But I do wanna let it move a little bit, I think. If it will. Some of it will. You can see that big section moving. And I'm going to tilt it down. You can see around the top rim it's sliding down in this thicker stuff. That's how the bottom looks. So, um, that's it. These are pretty. Um, I think best practice for the colored diamond dust is um, a matching base. I don't have a purple base handy, so obviously I didn't do that. Um, but I'll probably come back in a couple days on a purple base and we'll use it full coverage on a purple base just to see. So, let me get this back on the turner. And I'm just gonna I would like it to turn away from me. There we go. Switch the direction and let it cure. I don't know if I'll be back to show you what I do with this, if I'm going to do anything with it, but this one you'll definitely see in a couple days. So that's it for now. That was my unboxing, my new stuff, and I will see you next time.